Hola, señor. Here's a key to the hatches. All right. So what they're talking about, Weepers, is basically the people that are infected by the plague. They're kind of zombie-like, and they'll just attack you on sight. They can be pretty dangerous. Oh yeah, there's roots down here. Let's go. There's also a cool little Easter egg that happens in this game a lot. You'll find bone charms and runes just kind of by like weepers or dead bodies. What is that guy doing? He's just sitting there. That's fucking annoying. Can you, can one of you, okay, she's coming this way. I should be able to nab her once she turns around. Luckily, the plague doesn't spread by you just touching them, so I can just choke them out. Let's see how far away that door is that that guy's at. Uh, not far enough. Cool. Okay, he didn't see me. Awesome. It's kind of funny that, like, this mission you don't have to actually, like, bring them anywhere or get them out of the sewer. You just choke them out and then that's it. They just die <laughs> down here. You should be good enough for me to just choke out, right? Hello. Is that it? Yes, it is. Yeah, so like, where you find the runes and bone charms and stuff, like next to dead bodies and by weepers and everything, kind of implies that they have something to do with uh, the plague or the rats or just death in general. All right, no more runes down here. Should just be able to go back up. Hola, señor. You went down there in the sewers? Yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm built like that. They call me Big Dick Bandit in the streets. Uh, anything for me to steal? Yoink. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. Twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emma, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. You guys are way too far apart. I don't think I was supposed to stand here for the cutscene. Pendleton is that guy. He's one of the big executive guys. I designed some specialized devices for if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry. I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Fucking horn dog, Piero. Trying to get some action? You horny devil. Let's have a look at what you got. What do you need? You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with them to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted and quarantined for having the plague actually has the plague. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. Sweet deal. All right, time to go murder that dude's brothers and rescue my little sperm munchkin. Oh, that's, that's interesting. I mean, I didn't see you as the type of dude that swung that way, Samuel. I'm not gonna lie. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. The entrance is near Holger Square. Such a fucking pretty game, dude. His territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hold up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Well, I mean, I did kind of fucking make her, so, yeah. Yeah, those are weepers that they're trying to kill. That is a turret. God damn, how many of them are there? Oh, that many. Okay. I wonder what's up there now. I've never gone and explored up there after the first mission. Oh, didn't make it. Oh, are you fucking optional to meet with Slackjaw? 
I think I will. A little side story from the first mission is, uh, if you remember, it said Darren plus Gwen, and Darren died up there. He's, oh my god, dude, how is she not fucking dead? Which, by the way, it's a cool little optional story. You didn't have to go for that bone charm or pay attention to the story at all there. But if you do, you get a nice little bit of extra world building. How are, why are you looking this way? Yeah, that's Gwen. So, uh, I don't know if I would have hit that. Alright, so she's just like the only fucking one up here. You just hop up here. Good night. Okay, so there's a guard up there. And a guard on the bridge, plus that fucking turret, which, fuck those, honestly. Hello. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Didn't I choke you out last mission? Hey, I choked out both of you last time. Crazy how things come full circle. Infecting the elixir last mission causes weepers to be over here. Can they detect you? Because if they can... That would ruin my detection rating. Uh, I hear the bone charm sound. There's a bone charm in here. Yep, of course. Do I have stop time yet? I don't think I do. No. Oh, I only need one more rune. Oh, more stuff. I'm really glad they restocked these shelves after I robbed them last time. More reapers down here from infecting the bootleg elixir. But luckily those don't count as your kills, otherwise that would suck, even though you did effectively kill them. Time to meet Slackjaw. Is a villain if I judge your looks all right. Arr, matey. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them too. If you're doing something for me first. Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Hmm. Oh. More stuff. I wonder who. I'm really glad they restocked these shelves after I robbed them last time. I guess we'll never find them. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. All right, back to Dr. Galvani's office. There is actually a lot of shit in the pens for them. So I think I'm going to come back and rob them. Uh, I'm definitely going to come back and get that bone charm, though. Once I get freeze time. Uh, what? Alright, so I sleep darted all of them. Some of them say that they're dead. I should not be held responsible for that. And if I am, then I'll have to come back to the save and fix it. Alright, uh, Dr. Galvani. Bone charm up in that one. So let's go up to that one. Oh, those are doubt assassins. Um, need to wait for him to turn his back. He is really bad at recon if he couldn't fucking see me right there. Oh, go ahead. Turn your back. I know you want to. His back is already turned. Oh, it's not already turned. Die. Thank you. Good night, sweet prince. Why is that room boarded off? Oh, there's a weeper in there. Okay. Cool. See? Bone charm with a weeper. Acrobat. What's that? Climb slightly faster? That's actually pretty useful. Uh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one across the street. Oh, get him. You should be able to just sleep dart you. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, dude, he better not roll off this fucking roof. Uh, is Griff around? Where's Griff? Uh, I mean, I found all his money. Is he up here? Oh, he is. Oh, okay. There's a guard right there. He shouldn't turn around, right? All right. I don't think anybody comes out on this balcony. Ooh, he's bent over for a fun time. Ah, uh, uh, where are you going? Where are you going, homeboy? Oh, there's a rune in here. Perfect. Oh, well, isn't that just convenient? Okay, let's go ahead and just spend time, take care of business. Is there still a safe down there? Like, did they restock it? Ooh, more secrets. Ooh. Incident with previous maid servant will withhold feeding until first day, month of darkness. Well, that explains the arm that's under here. So many little stories going on in the background that you can find that are completely optional. Let's head out of here and back to Slackjaw. 
Ouch. Fuck. By the way, instead of gas being what powers things, it's actually whale oil. It's basically like the fuel for everything in the town. Um, it also explodes whenever you throw it. So, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, what's down there? A letter. Hmm. I want the lore, but do I want it that much? Uh, we'll see. We'll save and see if they see me whenever I open this up and drop it. Following the incident, which Kerno only survived by virtue of his training and quick thinking, to put himself unconscious in a dumpster. That is quick thinking right there. But yeah, didn't I get that rune in Dr. Galvani's office? That means I can now have stop time. Probably the most useful out of all the powers, which means I can also raid this thing now because I can sleep dart all of them or choke them all out. I need the reserve key. Where can I even find that? Do you have it on you? One of these guys has to have it on him. Don't maybe take that away from you. Take one away from me. Just give me your key. All right, well, that was easy enough. All right, let's talk to Slackjaw. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet like and without killing them. That's what I like. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers, just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. Okay, let's go see if this art dealer likes it in the butt or not. I don't know, he said specific tastes, so I'm assuming that he likes it in the butt. Oh, there's sweepers down there. That sucks. Is there bone charms down there? <gasps> oh, thank fuck. Okay, well, there is a bone charm down there. Oh, another turret? All right, so the hotel is right there. Oh, there's a fucking bone charm in it too. I wonder if there's another thing going on in that alley. about that bing bong and die go on go get him what's up you saved me how can i thank you i mean i can think a little something psych take this it's the backdoor service key to bunting's house the art dealer on the main street all right so many neat little side stuff so much so much good stuff in this game Ooh, pretty Ooh, the luxury suite Oh, fuck, are you serious? To the Golden Cat we go. Oh, there's a rune in that building. All right, the art dealer is over there. Oh, so one of them is just paying to speak to, what the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, you bitch. Yeah, so as I was saying, that guy is just like paying to talk to hookers. Now, what is this bitch doing right here? All right, I should be able to get her before she goes up the stairs. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, who else is up here? There's a rune up here, and there's a mysterious ball back there. I'll take this off your hands. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. My bad. Oh, man, she's going to wake up with a bruise and wonder how it got there. My little sperm munchkin. What up, G? Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. <laughs> That's my girl. That's my dog. Damn, she's already a bad bitch, and I haven't even raised her yet. She's turned around. So if this door is unlocked. Oh, well, isn't that just lovely? Damn, she's ugly. All right, let's go back up and get whatever's in this room. Rob them of all their shit. Oh, this room's pretty. Too bad I'm robbing it. Albinos. That can't possibly be good. You encounter white rats slightly more often. Damn, I'm getting money. How much money do I have? 1300 Holy shit. I'm the fucking Donald Trump of Dunwall. That's actually a good tagline. The Donald Trump of Dunwall? 
I mean, if that's not a New York Times bestseller, I don't know what is. You're just jealous. Shut up. <gasps> uh, in case I haven't sold this game to you enough, they also have um, female statues with a full ass, but not a full torso. And one titty, so. There's that. Oh, hey, there's that rune. Thank you. How are you gonna be laid up like that afterwards? What's even funnier is that you see this guy later on, but no spoilers, secrets. Ooh, Ooh la la. Oh, you can't see it. Hello, Mr. Art Dealer. Your footsteps sound a little loud. And you gained a little weight, honey? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. And the safe word tonight will be retribution, I'd say. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming that he doesn't like it in the butt. What's also really funny, subtle detail, is that is the symbol for the overseers, aka the religious group. So I wonder what this machine is for outside of sex. Oh, oh that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll stop with them. I cheated them, robbed them of thousands. This is a pretty weird kink. Ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. He told them it was junk. Okay. Ah! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. Wait, so he's got none in his pants right now? R.A.P. that man's balls, but geez. I'll have you whipped, you bitch! Well, that's rude. Who is this? What do you want? The combination is Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. Uh, what are you... Okay. For being weird, you, uh, deserve this. Wait, why is she massaging his hand? Like, what does that even do? Do they have to do it themselves? That's fucking weird. Fuck. That is not the button I wanted. Who is that? You missed. Oh my god, he missed again. I wonder what happens if I open the door before this guy comes back around. Or even better, what if I do this? What happens then? He just doesn't even give a shit. Are you serious? Dog, he just interrupted sexy time and you just don't even give a shit. By the way, the rooms that they're in are completely random whenever you play it. So they could be in this room, they could be uh, downstairs in the steam room area. Um, there's tons of different ways that this mission can actually play out. Hmm, that area seems familiar for some reason. So does that one too. Now I think I have most of the coins. Turn that fucking shit off. It's a little experiment. I want to see how close I can actually get to these girls without them noticing. Jesus fucking Christ, that's creepy. Oh my God, dude, that is fucking creepy. So they just don't even give a shit. I can just walk around. Oh, well, thanks for the fucking, thanks for the suggestion, dipshit. I'm raising a little shit stained kid. Trying to give me some of that good bussy? Huh. How the fuck did Emily get through this? Do I have enough runes for Blink? I do, let's go. Let's go give him the safe combination and then dupe him by going back to the art dealer's apartment and then stealing everything in the safe. <laughs> hey dude, here you go. I've been after this combination for months. All right, well, it's gonna suck whenever you go to the safe and there's nothing there, but okay. Let's go and rob the art dealer, and then that'll be the last of this mission. See, these these missions, there may not be a lot of them. I think there's only like nine or ten in the game. There is DLC, and there's plenty of content in all of the missions. Oh, shit. They can't make it out, can they? <gasps> they can. Um. Um. All right. That's not cool. Um, hello? Can I move past you? All right. Oh, hey. It's ironic. Oil party invitation. Foreshadowing. See how far I can blink now? So useful. I'm back. Hello, my little sperm munchkin and Samuel. He's going to show me how to steal 
Corvo. Wait, he's gonna do what? Maybe when I were worried about you, Corvo. Why are you calling me Corvo? I literally made you. Fucking disrespectful little shit. Let's get her home, Bo. Yes! Ghosts never detected, didn't kill anyone. Low chaos. Sure, they found three bodies, but that's fine. Found every painting, every bone charm, every rune. Armed with a blade, you changed the course of the city. I know, I'm just built like that. Alright, I just absolutely murked your brothers. So, uh, what you need? The Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. Alright, well, let's start up the fourth mission. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Onward, Samuel. 